Hey there, my name is Tracy from Randomness of Rudy, and in this video, the final video, we're going to talk about Capricorn in a relationship with Pisces. This is a part of my YouTube series, The Capricorn Experience, where I take a look at Capricorn in a relationship with each sign of the zodiac. So if you haven't seen the first video I did where I go a bit more in depth on what it's like to date a Capricorn, please go back and check that out. Capricorn with Pisces is a fine match. Um, Capricorn being an earth sign along with Pisces as a water sign uh, means that this is a relationship where you have two individuals that really complement one another. Capricorn has this way of grounding Pisces uh, watery flowing energy which can also translate into this you know imaginative energy that Pisces brings to the relationship. Whereas Pisces has this way of helping Capricorn think outside the box and look at life um, from a different perspective and loosening up in other words. And so I think that both will appreciate what the other brings to the table in this relationship. It's very different um, and it's not what either sign is used to uh, in terms of dating the other zodiac signs. And so I think Capricorn with Pisces is definitely a nice blend of energy where you will genuinely enjoy the ways in which you complement each other. As far as lovemaking, um, you know, it's interesting. Pisces is this spiritually inclined energy, very intuitive and, and brings this sense of enchantment to the bedroom. And this is something that Capricorn has never experienced because Capricorn is very grounded and very earthy and you know is very conservative and traditional when it comes to lovemaking and so Pisces approach to lovemaking will be something that Capricorn isn't used to but if Capricorn can essentially surrender to the experience I think Capricorn will benefit the most and, and genuinely enjoy it. Meanwhile Pisces will appreciate Capricorn's effort with regards to planning um, and, and, and really looking ahead uh, with regards to the effort that goes into lovemaking. And I think Pisces will benefit from this as well. When Pisces becomes emotionally overwhelmed, Capricorn has this way of grounding that energy and, and really turning it into a beautiful lovemaking session. And so uh, sexual compatibility is definitely five out of five with regards to Capricorn and Pisces in a relationship. As far as your difficulties, this is where you may have to put forth some extra effort here. You know, Pisces is not very very good at arguing and it's, it's primarily because Pisces doesn't quite understand what Pisces is thinking uh, and, and that's not to say that Pisces isn't aware, Pisces is very much aware but Pisces thinking is very abstract and so it can be difficult for Pisces to express this in a way that's concrete in a way that is clear, in a way that is understandable to Capricorn who's very structured with regards to how he or she communicates and, and is very, you know, practical. Pisces is not practical. Pisces thinks up here and, and Capricorn is here. And so when it comes to your differences, when it comes to your difficulties, you both are going to have to put forth some effort in terms of understanding one another. And Capricorn, while you may be a little tough on your Pisces, keep in mind that your Pisces is very sensitive. And Capricorn, you have this, you know, matter of fact, um, nothing personal, just business approach to how you communicate. And Pisces isn't going to understand that because you're in a relationship. Why would you speak to someone that you're in a relationship with um, in a way that, you know, makes this person seem like some kind of work colleague or business associate? Uh, it's not appropriate, in other words. And so Capricorn, you do want to watch your tone and you, wanted, you do want to watch that you don't become too impatient in terms of waiting for your Pisces to come around and, and communicate with you in a way that you are able to grasp and work with, okay? Give it some time, in other words. Um, but nevertheless, if you can understand your differences, this can be quite a, a lovely match and, and it's definitely one that could go dis the distance especially because you complement one another okay so if you want information that goes a bit more in depth beyond just your zodiac sign consider scheduling my compatibility reading and as always you can always visit my website at randomnessofrudy.com until next time stay tuned for the Aquarius experience